Have you ever heard about the passport bros? The sorry, what? Passport bros. Basically, it's like it's it's kind of like guys, especially American guys, sometimes more black guys that are tired of the culture in the states, like constant working, feminism, woke culture, that sort of stuff, and they don't want to make a life in the states anymore. They want to go to other countries and yeah. maybe find a wife. And oh. what do you think about this? Um, I kind of understand them, um, but it's it's kind of. Um, it sucks for the girls that they manipulate oh, okay. because I believe they don't truly love this the girl. Why do you believe that? Uh, because they they have a, a goals and they will do anything to achieve the goals. Oh, okay. And okay. the main like the majority of the time they will not like really be into the girl. It's yes and a no. It, you you understand them but you don't agree. I can't, I can't understand why they want to leave. It's because they have so much reason why. But um, the the the. I don't know how they do it can be hurtful for the woman have you ever heard about passport bros passport bros i know no, i don't know so passport bros it's kind of like a kind of like a not a community but it's a type of like american guys a lot of mostly black guys and they don't like the culture they don't like how the culture is going in america okay. with but they don't they're not fans of how feminism is changing wow. the relationship and they want something more traditional so they travel to other countries okay. to make a living or maybe find a wife or stuff like that what do you what's your opinion on this sort of okay. thing so these are the people that are like conservative or something well they're not necessarily conservative they could be they, it's not, it's they're apolitical like tradition like they're just like tradition yes and also like you know like for example they don't they, they're afraid of like the way marriage is set up here and wow. divorce and these these sort of issues, right? Okay. So that's why they want to go to a place like maybe Thailand or Colombia or countries where people have more traditional values. Okay. But what's your opinion on? It's the first time you hear about it, but yeah. Well, uh, in France, we have a philosopher who says that uh, wherever you feel more home should be your home and the rules you follow. So if you don't like the country you're in maybe just find something that suits you better or just stay and respect what your the values are where you are or if you just can stand it don't stay and complain just go to somewhere you feel safe i feel like the world is big and people kind of box themselves into a place that they don't have to box themselves yeah. in. i really hate when people are like don't respect the country where they come uh, i come to canada i'm really grateful for canada for having me, kind of having me. Yeah. Uh, so I won't complain about things that I see. It's not my country and uh, I like the values here. And if I don't like the values values of somewhere I go, I just uh, enjoy my stay, but don't go there and don't complain about it. Yeah. But it's not my country and I go to somewhere where I like the values. You ever heard about something called the Passport Bros? No. Passport Bros is basically like mostly black guys, but it's guys in North America that are tired of the culture, the way the feminism movement is. They don't like that stuff and the constant they work, don't work, like work. feminism. They don't. <laughs> okay. Or they don't like the way they don't like the extreme side. But hey, I'm just there's amen, extremes amen. to everything. You know what I mean? I mean, I think that's weird. <laughs> okay, okay, that's fair. <laughs> I feel like equal rights. You shouldn't. Okay. You shouldn't pur purposely go to another country that you know women are more like obedient towards men. Like that's just weird. That's like taking well, advantage. Like just to be, just to be fair, right? That's weird vibes. Like they want, like, cause you know the way North America is. There's different, you know, different cultures that see things differently. Yeah. So you know, sometimes maybe the gender roles are laid up differently. And I mean, I guess it's not necessarily These are broad. intense questions. I, I know. I think that's very weird for like men to specifically go out of their way to go to a country to find a woman. Okay, there's a thing called the passport bros. Have you heard about this before? No. Okay. Passport bros basically is like mostly american guys and they are not very f big fans of how canada while well, the states is going politically and family is going and they want something more traditional so what's your opinion on that topic i think it's one thing to appreciate another culture and okay. appreciating the different values that they have mm -hmm. but i think there's a line where it comes to fetishizing okay. like if like if you're choosing a certain race of partner just for that reason that, that's the premise right mm. well mm. choosing but the, it could be any country they just don't want first world they just don't want the west you know what i mean like it could be a white girl but it would be in maybe that in latin america or colombia or you understand what i mean it's a little bit complicated oh, so they're basically 
they don't want to date someone who or be with it someone. Could be, it could be who is Western Europe, country. for example, Eastern Europe, for example, Come like Poland or stuff. Yeah. I mean, they have the right to do that, but I mean, like, as long as both parties are both happy, too. they know what they're in it for. They're, they're transparent with. Yeah, and they're respectful. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you do it. Yeah, I feel like coming from a like first world, like if you're entering the third. It's a dumb question. As long as you're transparent, as long as you tell whoever you meet your partner, and this is like why you decide to leave your country of America and why you think first world is problematic to you personally, and they understand that and they know what you're in it, then I think I don't know what you can say that to the person to make an issue. Are they even making? or suggestions as to how they can fix world pro like what is their problem with world well, you know what I mean like, yeah, yeah, for sure. yeah, like yeah. if they're going to criticize them they need to give an answer to okay, the let me, like what they say for example right um, one thing that they don't like is the family structure in North America the way that uh, family is almost second tier as opposed to places like Latin America most countries okay. in Latin America is very family 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 That they like that Another thing that they don't like is also, not that necessarily they want the woman to take care of the house and they bring the money. Not necessarily that they want that, but they, like they don't, they, a lot of them are not a fan of like... American gender roles, is that what it is? is that, kind of. Commenting on other people's cultures is not something we can exactly do here in Canada. We can criticize them all we want, but if that's their the culture, then... That's I true. mean, we can say that we don't agree with that, but that's that's that. It's like a whole thing that everyone is fighting, and um, me personally, I'm from the school of let live and let live. That's my it, school. I you mean, know I mean, as like, long as you're being transparent and respectful of one another, to each their own. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think that's what it comes down to for and me. And I think personally. respect is big from mm -hmm. all sides, right? And. If people respect each other, this was good. This was a good question because this became like almost a podcast. And you guys are very like well thought out. You guys are really like, you know what I mean? Like you guys are not just saying anything. You guys take time to think. I like that. But I think you know, like, I think that I think you guys. I like your answer for real, sincerely. I think you guys really gave a, a good answer. There's no good or right answer, but I just think personally, mm -hmm. I like the way you guys broke it down. Oh, my God.